Hi, I'm Marcus Engel. Thank you so much for watching this video. What I'd like to do in this program is give you some tips and strategies and insights for academic success in your pursuits of excellence in your college career. Whether you're a student with a disability or without, I'd like to give you some ideas that may help you pursue excellence in your academic career. Before we get started on the tips and strategies, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I am a 2000 graduate of Missouri State University in Springfield, Missouri. I hold a Bachelor of Science in Sociology with an emphasis in Criminal Justice. I now live in Orlando, Florida. I'm a professional speaker and author on the college level, talking to college students all across the country about how to make intelligent choices, how to overcome their personal adversity, and always keep striving for excellence. This large black furry creature by my feet is Carson. Carson is my seeing eye dog. He's eight years old. He's been with me for the last seven years and he accompanies me everywhere I go. The reason I'm so passionate about working with college students, both with and without disabilities, is because of some of the experiences that I've had. When I began college, I was a typical red-blooded 18-year-old all-American guy. Six weeks into my freshman year of college, my friends and I were struck broadside by a drunk driver one night after going home from a hockey game. The crash not only left me completely blind, but also crushed every bone in my face. Two years of rehab and recovery and over 300 hours of reconstructive facial surgery had to occur before I was able to accomplish my goal of getting back into college. The tips I'd like to share with you today come from my personal experiences as a student with a disability, as well as information that I've gathered from disability service professionals across the country. When I work with college campuses and their disability support services offices, I'm learning strategies that these professionals want to see students implement, no matter if they have a disability or not. So let's get started. First of all, college is not high school. And you hear that said oftentimes by people in the college realm, well, this isn't high school anymore. Well, if you're a freshman in college, that's got a big duh attached to it because the only thing you know coming out of high school is high school. So let me give you a few different tips on how college differs from high school. The absolute number one biggest difference is that college is made up of adults. Your professors are adults, the employees at colleges are adults, and the students are adults. The students, you, have to take responsibility completely for yourself. It has to be you. If your mom calls and tells the professor that you can't come to class that day because you have a case of diarrhea, hey, guess what? That professor is going to have something funny to tell his teachers later. Not because of the diarrhea, but because you had your mommy call. You had your mommy call. You had your mommy call. So just keep in mind that when it comes to college, you have to be the one to make your own choices. For this next point about making connection with the Disability Support Services Office, I thought I'd sing it to you. Going to the office is for disabilities. Nothing rhymes with disability except fertility. And that's a totally different office on campus, so we'll skip that for later. Actually, it's very important to make connection with the Disability Support Services Office. The DSS office is there to provide accommodations for students with disabilities. Whether it's a profound bodily disability such as I have, or an invisibility like ADHD, dyslexia, learning difficulties, whatever your disability is, go to the DSS office, make connection with them, and if you don't know what to do, ask them. The best question you can ask any college professional is, how can I I succeed in my classes. If you walk into the Disability Support Services office and tell them the accommodations that you need, they'll listen to you. If you don't know what accommodations you need, they'll help you. But if you ask that question, how can I be the most successful in my classes, they will help you find that. But the key has to be you walking in there for the first time and asking them for help. Next point, be a person. Be a person? Aren't you already a person? I doubt your pet chameleon is sitting here watching this. No, you need to be a person. What does that mean? Simply means that the professors, the DSS professionals, anybody who is there to help you in your academic pursuits needs to know your name and be able to put your name with your face. Go introduce yourself to the professor, especially on the first day of class. 
If that professor knows your name, then he or she is going to know that you are there and they're going to know that you want to be there. Games. Whatever your game is, keep it in check. 50% of winning the game is just showing up and 50% of success in college is just showing up. One key rule about college, just show up. If you show up to class, you're almost guaranteed a passing grade. If you study and do the work, that grade goes up. If your professor knows who you are and knows that you're actually trying, that grade can go even higher. Just show up. But it doesn't just mean for classes, for appointments, for group projects, for meetings, for study sessions, whatever the case may be, just show up. Get to know your own disability. Get to know how your disability manifests itself in your learning process. If you have an invisible disability, such as ADHD, a learning disability, dyslexia, get to know the best ways that you need help. If you don't know how you need help, stop by the DSS office and ask them. They may be able to help you get some evaluations to learn what the best learning style is for you. Once you know those learning styles, it's your job to communicate how you best learn to your professors. Get involved. Get involved. Intramurals, sports, recreation clubs, activities, groups, councils, student government, fraternities and sororities, get involved. My stepson is a sophomore at the University of Florida this year, and I apologize to all you FSU fans, but now that my money goes to the University of Florida, I bleed orange and blue. Whenever we took my son up for orientation last year, one of the biggest pieces of advice I thought was worth sharing with you today. The freshmen were encouraged to get involved with two different organizations, one within their major, one within their study of academics, and one that is strictly extracurricular and fun whether that's the Harry Potter Club, or if that's the intramural soccer team, or that's a fraternity or sorority. Whatever it is, get involved with things at your school and stay there and continue your education. I'd like to thank you again for taking a few minutes to better your college career and better your college performance by watching this video. I hope you found it uh, important and enlightening and gave you some good food for thought. And if nothing else, I hope it was at least a little bit entertaining. Ultimately, you decide how good or how bad your college career will be. So please, what? <laughs> you are so terrible at that. What? Martha told me to come stick my finger up your nose. <laughs>